Brand Value Creator, or BVC as it's most commonly known, is the Ipsos-wide brand equity measurement system. Each year, we see a record number of clients adopting BVC to help them understand how they can best grow their brands. Indeed, in the last 12 months alone, more than 600 client organisations around the world have used BVC. Just like to pause and reflect for a second on how brands grow, particularly in high frequency purchase occasions. The Ipsos philosophy is that successful brands are bought by more people, more often and more easily. Some of our competitors take the view that brand growth is all about penetration, getting more people to buy your brand. Well, in 2017, we did some R&D. And I would say that you ignore your existing customers at your peril. What we did was over a 12 month period, we looked at the purchase behavior of over nine and a half thousand people. We covered over 200 brands in seven categories and four countries. Where brands were growing or they were declining, we were looking at what was contributing to that growth or decline. Was it new customers? Was it lapsed customers? Or was it existing customers changing their purchasing behavior over that 12 month period? Either by buying more or buying less, but remaining customers. And the results were quite astounding. Yes, penetration is important for brand growth and loss of penetration for brand decline but we found that 25.2% of the brand growth witnessed came from existing customers buying more. And conversely, just under 25%, in fact, it was 24.8% contributed to the decline of those brands that lost share. So to me, this backs up the Ipsos point of view that it is more people, but it is more often, and we should not ignore the more often part. Historically, most brand equity studies have looked at a brand at a sort of total or holistic level versus the competitors in their particular category. But what we're finding more and more is that extra insights can possibly be gleaned by looking at brand equity within different usage occasions. So whether it might be on my own at home or out with friends, etc. So we've introduced a protocol for BBC to be applicable to different usage occasions. And what we saw in some R&D in 2017 was that the same brand can perform up to five times stronger in one occasion versus another. So this very much helps our clients understand those weaker occasions where the equity is not as strong so they can work at perhaps trying to improve the equity within a specific tangible usage occasion. At Ipsos, we realise the importance of continual innovation and development of our approaches, and BBC is no exception. In 2014, we introduced Brand Spotlight, which is a forward-looking measure which identifies brands as showing potential to grow or decline. In 2015, we produced a device agnostic questionnaire for BBC, so respondents can complete the questionnaire wherever and whenever they want on whatever device, including smartphone. 2016 saw the in-house production of our reporting platform, which helps our client service teams get to the insight and get to the insight quickly. In 2017, we have this protocol for BBC by occasion, and we also have a couple of things in the pipeline for release in early 2018. So watch this space.